everyone. So today I'm going to be decluttering my loose shadows and pigments. I have quite a few. I have about two drawers filled with these. So I'm hoping that I will be able to declutter a bit because I find that I just don't really use loose eyeshadows too, too much. So hopefully I'll be able to declutter some of these. So the first few that I have here are some from NYX. I'm not sure if they even still sell these or not, but I have quite a few of these. And I know that there's only a couple of these color wise that I would keep anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out the ones that I know color wise I just wouldn't keep. So these first five that I'm going to get rid of are from NYX. These are the Ultra Pearl Mania um, loose shadows or pigments. Um, and I'm going to get rid of these five just because I don't really wear loose shadows that often and I especially don't wear them in these like bright crazy colors. So I'm going to let these go. The blue one is called Turquoise Pearl. The purple one's Purple Pearl, Very Pink Pearl, Yellow Pearl, and then the black one the sticker ripped off so I don't know its name but I'm sure it's like Black Pearl. So next I have two of these. One of them has the sticker and it says white pearl, but the other one doesn't have a sticker, but I feel like these might be the same exact one. So I'm going to get rid of one of these and keep the other one. And then these next four I'm going to keep. These are all more neutral, kind of like pinky, champagnes, kind of bronzy copper colors. This first one's called Oro Pearl. The second one is Mink Pearl. And then these last two, the um, stickers have actually come off, so I'm not sure the name of those, but I will be keeping those. Then also I will be keeping one of the white pearls, and then I will also be keeping the gold glitter one. Another one I know I'm going to 100% keep is this one. This one is from MAC. It is the Blue Brown Pigment. This is like the one of the first MAC products I think I ever bought, um, and it's the only pigment I have, and I really love this one, so that one's definitely staying. These next four are all from Bare Minerals that I got in a set um, that came together. I kind of feel like I could let these go. I'm going to set these in my maybe pile and see how many I declutter and then decide if I want to keep these or not. I also have a ton of these e.l.f. Mineral um, loose eyeshadows. They used to have these crazy deals where like if you bought so much um, they would like give away like literally 10 of these for free. <laughs> so I kind of went crazy on a couple of those deals and I ended up getting like most of the colors that they had. Um, but I have not touched these like in years. There's probably some of these colors I've never used before. Um, so I'm going to go through quickly and pick out the ones I know I probably wouldn't use and the ones that I would want to keep. So to be honest, I thought I was going to get rid of quite a few more of these than I expected, um, but so far I'm only getting rid of five of these. This one is called Royal. This one is Flirty. This one is Girly. This one is Mysterious. And this one is Smoldering. So those are the five that I'm going to be getting rid of. And then these are the eight that I'm going to be keeping. I really didn't think I was going to keep this many, but upon looking at them, some of them are really pretty and I kind of like forgot like how nice they are. So I'm going to keep those. These next two I know I'm going to keep. These are both from Coastal Scents. The top one is called Vintage Charm. And then the bottom one is called Promise Land. This one is Promise Land. It's so beautiful and so gorgeous and very unique. So I definitely want to keep this one. And this one is Vintage Charm. This one is kind of like an olive -y gold color. I think that this one's just too pretty to let go, so I'm definitely going to keep that one as well. These next two I think I'm going to let go. This one is a color tattoo pigment shadow. That one I'm going to let go. And then this one is an Ulta mineral eyeshadow. Those two can just both go. I'm not really a huge fan of those. This one is actually not the original container for this shadow. I don't even remember like what this shadow is, but I remember I put it in this uh, container to depot it, so I'm going to hang on to that one. And then also this one is one of the, I think it was like the L'Oreal Hip um, pigments. This one's just like a gold colored one, so I'm going to keep that one as well. And then the last of these are a whole bunch of these tiny little sample shadows that I got from a indie website called, I think it was called Geek Chic Cosmetics or something like that. Um, but they had all these really like uniquely beautiful like pigments and eyeshadows and stuff and they sold them in sample size so I like ended up getting a whole whole bunch of them so I think I'm gonna hang on to those as well. So these are all the shadows that I'm keeping from this first drawer. I think there's about 36-ish in there which sounds like a lot but a lot of those are those little tiny sample ones and then from that drawer I'm gonna be getting rid of 13 pigment shadows. Okay so now in the next drawer I have quite a bit more. Um, a lot of these are some glitters that I mixed in which I've already decluttered those so I'm just gonna take those all out real quickly since I've already gone through them. So now I took out all the glitters and what I'm left with. I have a few Makeup Geek products here, which these are so beautiful, but I was kind of let down with these. Not because the products are bad or anything, but just the packaging I really don't like. It's such a mess and such a hassle that I find myself never wanting to use these. And loose shadows are already a like super messy, hassle-y kind of product, so it just kind of doesn't help with that, that the packaging of this is so like bad. 
These were from the collection that they did the like duochrome pigments. So I have hologram and then I have prism. So this one is prism and the reason why I hate these, they came with these little caps that you can put into it to like sift it, but it's not like a typical sifter. It's more of just like a hole in the center. Um, and the problem with that is that when you put that in plus the cap, it actually breaks the little threading here of the um, cap. So it doesn't stay on very well and it makes quite a big of a mess. And you can actually see the little cap in here. It actually like gets stuck inside the interior cap so much. So I find this very frustrating to work with, but the product is so beautiful. So I think I'm gonna have to like either find another container to like depot these in or something because this is just really not working. So same thing, that little cap in there just gets stuck in the roof and it's just extremely, extremely annoying. So I'm gonna keep these, but I think I'm definitely going to have to like depot them and put them in something else. And then this is another Makeup Geek. This was like from one of their earlier launches. This was the pigment in the color Utopia. This is absolutely beautiful, but again, there is like no sifter cap in this at all. So it's just such an extreme pain in the ass to work with um, and a lot of the products gets wasted so this is utopia as you can see it's a very beautiful but just in the threading of the cap it is the biggest mess in the world so I find myself not using these but they're so beautiful I just can't get rid of them and again more makeup geek products these were these sparklers that they came out with I think maybe two or three years ago now again I just never use these they're just such an incredible mess to work with these it's just so sad because the products are so beautiful, but I can't get rid of these yet, but something has to change with this packaging because otherwise I don't think I'll ever be able to use these. So those were a couple products that I really love, but I kind of like hate at the same time, but I still just can't force myself to get rid of them yet. And then this lash drawer here is all just these little like five gram jar pigments. Um, Coastal Scents used to also sell like mica powders and things like that. So I really got into buying a lot of those and using them as eyeshadows and like kind of mixing and creating my own eyeshadows and things. I'm kind of so overwhelmed. I don't even want to get rid of any of these. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I should, but... I feel like I'm going to end up just keeping all of these, to be honest. Okay, so I finished kind of rearranging and making it all fit. I ended up not decluttering anymore, so kind of disappointing. I only got rid of like 13 um, products, but I'm going to like put all these like kind of on like probation and see if I can use them more. Otherwise, I definitely need to just cut down on these because I just have so, so many of these. And again, I don't use them that often, so... Over the next like couple months, I think I'm going to really try to use up a lot of these products or see if I can like make them work in different ways. But for now, um, this drawer is completely packed, but I was able to fit all of it in one drawer. So that is it for this um, pretty kind of like a fail declutter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. Until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.